Today I will discuss about manual methods of perimetry. Don't forget to download our app Optometry Notes and MCQ. In manual methods of measuring visual field, the stimulus is moved by hand or manually. It measures gross visual field extension and mostly measures peripheral visual field. As its manual method, accuracy is less and not widely used. Common methods of manual perimetry are confrontation method, Lister's perimetry, campimetry or scutometry, and Goldman's manual perimetry. Now let's discuss about confrontation method. In this technique, patient's visual field is compared with the examiner's visual field to measure the extension of patient's visual field. As patient's visual field is compared with the examiner's visual field, so the examiner's visual field must be normal. Procedure Patient seated 1 meter distance facing the examiner. While testing patient's right eye, left eye should be occluded and looks examiner left eye. Examiner occludes right eye and moves his finger from periphery to center in between them. Interpretation If the patient and examiner see the finger at the same time, the visual field of the patient is considered normal. If the examiner sees first and then later the patient sees the target, then patient's peripheral visual field is reduced. Now Lister's perimeter. It has a metallic semicircular arc graded in degrees with a white dot for fixation in the center. The arc can be rooted in different meridians. Procedure The patient is seated facing the arc with his chin firmly in the chin rest. With one eye occluded, he fixates the white dot in the center. A test object, usually white and of size 3 to 5 mm, is moved along the arc from extreme periphery towards the center and the point at which the patient first sees the object is registered on the chart. The arc is moved through 30 degree each time and 12 such readings are taken. The details of the object regarding its color and size are noted. With the help of this perimeter, extent of peripheral visual field is started. Now campimetry or scotometry. It is done to evaluate central and paracentral of the visual field. The Jerome screen is used and can be of size 1 meter or 2 meter square. Procedure The patient is seated at a distance of 1 meter or 2 meters respectively depending upon the chart design. The screen has a white object for fixation in its center around which are marked concentric circles of 5 to 30 degree. The patient fixates at the central dot with one eye, the other eye being occluded. A white target that is 1 to 10 mm diameter is brought in from the periphery towards the center in various meridians. The examiner stands beside the screen holding a black rod with a white target at its tip which can be exchanged for targets of different size. Initially, the physiologic blind spot is charted which is normally located about 15 degree temporal to the fixation point. After charting the blind spot, central and paracentral scotoma is identified by showing target in specific points and charted. Now Goldman's perimeter. It consists of a hemispherical dome presents target at 33 cm away from the cornea of the patient. It has a background illumination of 31.5 apostilles or 10 cadence per square meter. It is capable of performing both kinetic and static method. Isopters are used to show visual field areas of equal and greater sensitivity. Each isopter represents a different stimulus size presented to the patient. The size and intensity of the target may be varied to plot different isopter kinetically and determine local static threshold. In the next video, I will discuss about automated perimetry. Till then, stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.